Good afternoon all, CamelbackTrading.org coming to you this Thursday afternoon, May 27th, and with one day to go in the month, we are looking at Window Trader's market profile of SPY IWMN, Triple Qs. Uh, we all do basically something different today, um, very, very tight range. First off, SPY's low is 419.12, not 418.99, they had a bad tick earlier, but almost got to it, but we didn't. Buyers showed absolutely no ability to go fill those single prints from the 10th. We have a weak high against that day's high. Sellers show zero ability to get yesterday's wide pock. Um, there was a tremendous amount of shorting going on down here in I through M. And I firmly believe uh, that there was some long-term buyers absorbing this. Because they tried their darndest. They kept getting absorbed. And then they finally took out... The one time framing and ripped up. They tried one more push down hard at the end of M and N and look where we are now. Now, I don't think this is long term buyers. Long term buyers won't chase it up here. They'll let the short term uh, algos do it and they'll let the uh, short traders cover up here do it. But down here, what was going on for my money's worth was long term buyers absorbing it. We had higher value all day. Again, a quiet day for me. Ended up green, but I didn't do a lot. Let's start with Triple Q's. Triple Q's had overlap and a lower value early. They got their wide puck yesterday. They came out of an inside day to the downside. And actually, only spent A and B. And then it looked like they had a chance for an outside day up. But what happened? They came down later in the day after being eight wide and traded basically in and out of yesterday's range. So a weird day in Triple Q's. Russell, the big winner of the day. Gapped higher like we did. We filled our gap. They held their gap all day. They go out with a price probe. They get to their next big level, which was the 226 level. They have an afternoon pullback low and their nine wide at eyes low. ES and SPY gap higher. Get up almost in a period to that daily high. Again, we, we got, here it is, May 10th. This is incredible how we can't get it. If I can get over, if I could ever get over there, here we are. We got to within, we got the day's high. But couldn't get the single prints. Now, what did I do today? Well, if I can get back to today, here we go. I didn't do anything today. I didn't do anything. I thought there was a chance to get that upper dist uh, yesterday's high, get the upper distribution. Uh, we came out of the, I'm sorry, we came out of the uh, yesterday inside day up on a gap. I figured we'd go to the previous month's high, get into those single prints, and see what we got out of it. Well, that turned out to be, uh, didn't happen. Just didn't happen. We got up there, so I never took the short. So my first trade was in B. <clears throat> but I didn't do it when B broke. I did it basically against, um, I'm trying to think if I did it when I broke. It was when I broke. When we broke A's low, I thought we'd get the gap. I took 421 puts, came back in, got back to the opening. I said, I'm out. I took a loss on that trade. I was like, if the market's that strong, we shouldn't one time frame down right away. So when we did, I thought we would at least fill the gap. Okay, it didn't happen. C period, I took a long. <clears throat> um... Because I thought we'd stop the one time framing down. I innovated. I took the long before B. Uh, C took out B's high. The 419 calls. Took it off at A. We popped A's high. I wasn't expecting much. I thought we'd at least get this into the singles. Didn't get that. Took it off. So what I lost in B, I made back in A. I was even on the day. Then in E period, I took a short. Um, because we were one time framing down, However, I didn't take it when we filled the singles. I did it against the opening. And then once we took out D's, I, I took it off. The best trade that I didn't do today, two of them, should have taken the break real quick maybe, but the best one was when I, we filled single prints, got nothing for I'm not, I filled the uh, gap, got nothing for it, and weren't going to have single prints. Should have been long. That would have been the best trade. Instead, it rallied up. I took the short against the open in the one-time framing. It got above D, took it off for a loss. And then the only other trade I did was an I. Started a small long 
at the time at value low. Flushed, I bought 40 more, and it went right back up. I made decent money on that, and then I held the 10 others, and then when it came off back down, I took it off, which put me, I took back the loss for me and put me green on the day, but nothing, believe me, nothing big. And then I just watched. I was fascinated by what was going on in KLM. I kept telling the room, I said, be careful if you're short, because that's all this is. And if we stop the one time framing down, they're going to get hurt. And finally, late, and I mean late now, they did that, ripped up, they ripped it down, and now look where we're trading. Look where we're trading after hours. All this is, folks. So take this with a grain of salt, what's happening here. Because all this was, for the last two and a half hours, was shorts pushing below ease low. Pushing, pushing. Pu they couldn't even get to this wide park. And then finally, like for the last 12 years, taken out to the woodshed and shot. That's all this is, my friends, shorts covering. I said to the room, if we don't take, if M period doesn't take out J or K's high, well, then the shorts will be happy. And then tomorrow we'll have to see if we open above it, they'll run for cover. If we open below it, they'll be okay. Well, that all went out the window because M and now N are absolutely just ripping these shorts apart. Destinations for tomorrow. Well, I used F's high as an afternoon rally high. 420.43, first destination. Then today's high, 420.72. Those unbelievable, stubborn single prints, 420.73 get filled at 421.03 from the 10th. And then we don't have anything to 422.74 weekly high. Amazing, which is going to be a monthly high. Oh, no, we'll get to that in the charts. For the downside, we don't have anything to today's low. Now, ES ended nine wide. I only ended eight wide. So 419.12 will be my first destination on the downside. Then 418.79, 10 wide from yesterday. 418.44, the afternoon pullback low from yesterday. And should have the other daily lows. So now let's go to the chart. And I'll recap everything tomorrow after the close, all three of these, for the end of the month and the week. I'll just do SPY today. So the monthly. Last month's high was 420.72. We took that out this month. We're still below it. Right now, 422.82 is our all-time high. 422.74 is a weekly high. One time framing up seven months incredibly healthy. Weekly. Balance. Inside week up, but we're in balance. Until we take out the all-time high and get acceptance above it, we're just in balance, or unless we take out these two weekly lows. So yes, an inside week up is positive, but we're still in balance. And then the daily, we're one time framing up now, six days. So, right, we came, we went balance. I'm sorry, I'm losing my mind. We were in balance, right? We got to the bottom of the balance, held it, Started one time framing up. Gap is my main focus. And now the daily's up. We got above that. It was still in balance until we got above it. We went balance uh, up. A little balance inside day. And we're up. So until we stop one time framing up, the daily will be balanced. Yes, the trend has slowed. We can't take out Tuesday's high. But it's still one time framing up. Volume, again, a big issue. Only $56 million. So we've done under 60 million every day this week. Maybe we'll hit 60 million with the after hours today. That remains to be seen. Um, end of the month tomorrow. I don't expect anything big, at least early on in the day. Maybe we'll get something late in the day for the end of the month. But I'm not too hopeful with this weekend coming up. I hope you had a great day trading. Have a great evening. And we'll speak prior to the opening tomorrow.